Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is I've already primed my lid with Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm gonna take Benefits Fahrenheit Fab. It looks like this. And I'm gonna place that all over my lid. Hair's getting in the way. You just want that to show up and look really nice and golden. That way the color that I'm going to put on top of that pops. Like, like that one. Okay. Next thing is I'm going to take this Flirt palette. You can get Flirt Cosmetics at um, Kohl's. I don't know if you can get it on Amazon or anything. I'll check. Um, but I'm going to take a flat brush just like this this is from crown brush and then I am going to take first I'm gonna take this light color and put that all over my lid pick up a little bit more really pack that onto your lid okay now I am going to take where is it okay and I'm gonna take this domed brush right here I've had this for several 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 years um, it's by Alouette Cosmetics are, and they have a skincare too. I don't know if it still exists. Um, but I'm going to pick up this color right here. I'm going to place that right, right into the crease, right into the orbital, orbital, orbitable, orbitable, orb, orbital, orb. You know, I'm just going to put in the crease. Kind of bring it up a little bit. Okay. And now I'm going to take... Um... This is by Jane Ardell. It's a blending brush. And I'm just going to blend that out. I'm gonna bring up pretty high. Um, I've noticed with my eyes, if I like want to, not if I like want to, but um, a lot of times if I bring my crease color up a little bit, it'll make my eye look bigger. And I really like kind of the look of like big eye, and I don't know, I just think it looks pretty. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do. Is I'm going to take this gold color right here with this angled brush and I'm gonna pick that up pack a lot of color on there okay first thing I'm gonna make a V right here and really kind of get in there Then I'm going to take it, that blending brush again, and I'm going to blend that color right up into the crease. Okay. 
and I'm gonna apply a little bit kind of all over and then I'm gonna blend again see so it looks the same and then I'm, I'm going to take this brush again and I'm gonna pick up that lightest color and I'm gonna apply that as my highlight If you hear a weird noise, it's my dog licking her paws. She does it all the time. Sorry. Okay, and now I'm going to take, as it tries to focus again, I'm going to take a Q-tip and I'm going to try to get any of that shimmer off my eyebrow. So I'm going to take Urban Decay um, Pencil in Zero. And I didn't say this before, but you don't have to use any of the products that I'm using. You can use whatever colors you own that are similar to achieve the same look. You don't have to use what I'm using just because that's what I'm using and what I like. Use what you like and you can still achieve the same result. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to go around my entire lid. Obviously not perfect. And then I'm going to take this and go into my tight line. Because this will make the eyelashes look bigger. It'll make it look like you have more eyelashes. Which is very important to me. Next, I'm going to take this brush, it's by Crown Brush, and I am going to carefully smudge that black color in. Okay, now I'm going to take my liquid eyeliner by um, Lorac. It's my favorite. It's um, the Front of the Line Pro, and it's the blackest color you can get by them. And then I'm just going to bring that right on top of where that black was. I feel like when I do that I make see? I feel like it makes it even more black when I place a um when I place the zero eyeliner by Urban Decay under first and it'll make my liquid eyeliner kind of pop more and be more intense of a black. So, the really cool thing about this is if you look, this is a very short little felt tip. So, it makes it really easy to make the cat eye. You just kind of have to press it in there. And then I just go like that. And now she's digging in her bed. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna kind of thicken this up. Now it's very winged, like this one. And thick, make sure I have the same thickness on each one. I'm checking my little mirror, looking in a mirror. Okay, I'm gonna bring some more color right on top and connect it 
Wait, well, it's even. There we go. Okay. Now I am going to take the new Urban Decay. Well, they're not too new now, but the Glide On Shadow Pencil. So I'm taking, like I said, the Urban Decay 24 7 Glide On Shadow Pencil in Delinquent. It's purple. And I am just going to. Place that right underneath my eye. I'm kind of flicking it if you noticed. Oh, you'll see why in a minute. Okay. Now I am going to take this brush. I got it from Ulta. It's just a smudgy brush. I'm going to smudge that in really close to get that nice and blended and smudged in there check my mirror make sure it's even okay and now to make it a little bit more intense, I'm going to take this Urban Decay palette. Um, I'm going to take this color right, right here called Flash. It's literal. Li literal. It's literally. <laughs> I love it when I forget how to talk. It's literally the same color as. Um, what I put underneath my eye. So I'm going to take that domed brush um, that I is crown brush. I'm going to put that in um, the flash color. Pick that up and just put that right on top. That way you can really see the purple. Because the whole point is to have that purple really stand out. Okay, now we're going to do mascara, and I'm using Benefit Their Real first. Okay. And I am going to start at the base of the lash in zigzag. That way, that'll create the volume. When you zigzag that right into the bottom, it'll deposit a good amount of mascara and will really help with the volume. Okay, now I'm going to apply it all over my lashes. Obviously, I use several coats of mascara. You don't have to. Do what you like. This is just how I have to do mine. Now I'm going to take, um, it's L'Oreal, right? Yeah, L'Oreal Voluminous Lashes. And I'm just going to brush that. What is that? Okay, you got to go. There. And then I'm just going to brush that all over there's a really quick look to do for the new year